If you like smoke marijuana for a long time, he might like stop wanting to do things or whatever. Hey everybody, Trace here for D News, and we're talking about pot again. In case you missed our other videos about United States' most popular illegal drug, its secret power is in the 60 cannabinoids inside the plant, one of which is the infamous THC. These 60 cannabinoids affect the brain's neurotransmitters. These chemicals fill the gaps between your brain cells, and THC and other cannabinoids will get in there and play with your chemical balances. Even with only one use, pot can affect learning, coordination, problem solving, and short-term memory, though likely not permanently. THC doesn't stay active in your bloodstream for more than a few hours, but the inactive molecule can float around in there for several days. So what if this is not your first toke, and instead you are a regular heavy user, which means multiple times per week? Are there long-term effects for all that THC floating around in your brain? A new study says yes. Over time, it's been shown that marijuana users have higher risks of mental illnesses and psychosis like schizophrenia. Building on this, researchers at the Imperial College London claim heavy use of pot beginning before the age of 18 can cause damage to the brain's motivational system too. What they mean by motivational system is dopamine. Dopamine is another brain chemical that makes us feel good. When you're happy or you're drunk or you're high, you're squirting dopamine all over in there. Using this knowledge lets scientists assume that there would be a lot of dopamine in heavy users, but they actually found the opposite. Less dopamine. That's sad. Get it? <laughs> Brain chemistry? No, I'm serious. I know. I understand. I'm pulling it together. Seriously. These findings are actually consistent with other addiction studies showing altered dopamine systems in people who are dependent on cocaine and amphetamines, too. It's worth noting that all the people in this study had experienced psychotic-like symptoms while smoking the drug, such as strange sensations or bizarre thoughts and feeling as though they were being threatened by an unknown force, the thought being that they'd have altered dopamine levels similar to someone with actual psychosis. But what does this mean out here, outside of the brain? Low dopamine has been attributed to depression and fatigue syndrome. Many who have low dopamine stop caring about things that used to matter to them. If severe enough, low dopamine can affect fine motor skills like writing or concentrating for long periods. And whether these problems would manifest hasn't been studied yet, but the researchers are looking into it. The good news is this particular effect of pot is reversible. Former cannabis users didn't have an altered dopamine system any longer, but like smoking and drinking, the only way to stop the problem is to stop ingesting those chemicals. Does it surprise you that pot has these long-term effects. Tell us your thoughts down below and make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with D-News every day of the week. Thanks a lot. I'm Trace. Catch you later.